In September 1993, F1 was going through kind of a period similar to now. Mercedes had dominated the whole season, well in this case it was Williams. Ayrton Senna and McLaren were in an under pars, but fairly competitive uh, MP48. It. it was a car that had a Ford engine which wasn't the strongest compared to the Renault engines that the Williams had. So they were looking for something else to build on in 1994. In September 93, Ayrton Senna and test driver at the time, Micah Hackton, went and tested the now infamous McLambo at Estoril in Portugal. The Lamborghini engine proved to be a success with Senna as he wanted to actually race this engine for the last three races of the season but due to contractual obligations with Ford, McLaren couldn't do this. But the option was there for 1994 for Lamborghini to actually take over the end supplier for McLaren. But they didn't choose. So it makes you think, what if Senna was allowed to race uh, the V12 Lamborghini in 1993 for the last few rounds? Would it have made any difference? Well, I don't know because he won the last two out of three rounds. He won Japan and... Adelaide in, in Australia, so would he have stayed at McLaren if he had had this engine for 94? I don't think so because I think if you know the story behind 1993, it's a bit of a turmoil, Senna's as a million dollars a race fee contract that he had. It's, it's one of those things where would have persuaded him maybe I don't know last second but I think his heart was always set on Williams for 94 it's interesting because the myth of this car just keeps growing at Mika Hakkinen said that this car was uh, a handful to drive but it was so fast but it also was quite unreliable if you look back in the, the 90s LaRouche used the Lamborghini engines and they weren't really competitive so it's just a myth really of what could have happened with this car. It, it's it's certainly one of my sort of favourite cult things about F1 in the 90s. You know, the fact it was never used and the fact that the test happened. You know, could you picture now, I don't know, Mac McLaren changing from Mercedes engine to test out a Ferrari engine. It's It never happens and it just makes the sport seem very different back then. As you know, you have the all famous white test car. With no sponsors on it. But yeah. What do you think about the McLambo? Would it have been a success in Formula 1? Let us know in the comments below. And yeah. Make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you next time.